All right, so I got the LG 21 by nine inch ultra wide monitor, 25 inch, 25 UM58. So this is my wife is working from home, of course. She has limited space here in the bedroom. She does like using the dual screen normally, so I thought we could use this with a split screen. She uses it with a Chromebook. All right, so let's give it a shot. Use my new knife I got for Christmas. Pretty nice, eh? So in here we have the stand. It comes with an HDMI cord. Although she's using a Chromebook, so I'm going to use this HDMI to see cable I already have. <laughs> it comes with just a loose CD, which is very odd. Uh, extremely odd. Some kind of stuff for the adapter for adapting the base I guess lots of paperwork power cord not the standard monitor kind of cord big block big wall wart and I guess this stand goes here to hold up the monitor so don't use this to murder people or babies in case you were playing on it don't so you can see we have two HDMI ports and a headphone jack and a, the DC input. I would say that's the controls there, a little joystick style. No USB ports. It's a relatively small monitor. Of course, it's 25 inches wide, so. All right, so you need to put this on here and screw that in. There are two Phillips head screws in the packaging. All right, and then this tab it just slots in there. It just slides in. All right, so now I guess we're ready to get in gear. There's an LG branding on the front. The bottom cord is this. This little screw mechanism. Slot that in there. Screw this on. There's a little cable management here. And there are little tiny rubber feet so it doesn't scratch your desk. They don't stick out very far. So here you can see the desk isn't very big. So we don't have a lot of room to work with stuff here. This monitor does, however, you can adjust it forward or backwards. It does not go side to side. All right, let me power up and I'll put the computer on here. So you can see there's a bunch of options here. Now, of course, there's nothing good. No monitor has a good menu source, but uh, I guess nothing's plugged in, so I can't go through the settings. Let me plug my laptop in. Uh, I'm gonna try both my Windows, Lenovo, Yoga laptop and my Lenovo Chromebook. I'm gonna put the HDMI to monitor and the C into the laptop. All right, so my laptop is on. Uh, right now it's just mirroring the screen instead of stretching the screen. I'm gonna use this Lenovo or the Yogi keyboard. It's meant for Chrome, but it'll work with Windows. Yeah, the Logi, I forget what the number is, but we'll put that in here and this little mouse. All right, so I paired this, uh, so now it should work. So let me try closing the screen on my laptop. So this is just a camera pointed at a monitor screen. Uh, so, you know, some things are gonna look a little funky on the camera with, I don't have professional lighting in here. This is just overhead lighting from a ceiling fan. As uh, you can see it's display settings and automatically goes where this is a Windows device, of course. And so now we should be able to see if I use this little guy. Go to the menu. Over here we have a quick setting for brightness, contrast, volume. That's interesting. Actually the joystick's not that bad. I don't know if there's speakers in here or not. Let's try to play some music. Play some Jacob Campbell. I interviewed this kid. So right now I don't hear any music, but we'll see if that is in fact the case or not. Yeah, so there's no speakers on the device itself. So I can change the audio to my... So now it's coming from my laptop itself. All right, so there's no speakers with the monitor itself and now since the volume is last thing I hit when I go left or right it lets me adjust the volume now of course you could plug speakers into this but that's not what we have go back to menu you can change the input here of course picture the picture mode which is custom reader makes it a little darker I guess photo looks really good actually cinema looks a little brighter uh, FPS 1 FPS 2, I assume that's first person shooter, RTS, and then custom is game. Uh, I guess I'll just go with the original custom. And you can adjust the picture, game adjust, color adjust, uh, language settings, power LED. I believe that means it'll just turn itself off when there's no screen uh, displayed for a while. Automatic standby, same thing. And then you can just reset everything to factory default, which I did. It's, of course, it's a matte screen, there's no reflection in it. And then you can change the input here if you wanted to, just real quick there, which is nice. And then you can change the picture mode. Those are the shortcut settings there, right? 
So up, put your mode uh, power up, go down from your monitor off, and just hit the button to exit. So nice, simple little settings. It looks pretty good. And of course, uh, the point of the widescreen monitors for me is I can do something like this. So here you can see now I can uh, easily have two things on one display. So this is how my wife will be using this for her schoolwork. And then we'll set up a webcam on top so she can you know talk to her students she's a teacher obviously we're still in a pandemic and she has her little mom bus that will fit right there yeah and then of course you know this is windows but these are just built-in windows functionality you can move it around all over the place if you were to install this uh, from the cd i'm sure you'd have more options on windows now of course we won't be using windows all the time we'll be using chrome here so let me switch that out to chrome and just see the similar functionalities there so there we are with chrome uh, so ignoring the poor uh, Chrome OS, a uh, Chromebook, ignoring the poor cable management there. You can see how it's nice set up. I changed it out for a better camera. Uh, I'm using the same keyboard and mouse. And you can see I didn't do anything that's automatically fit the screen correctly. So you can see me stretched out wide screen here. Uh, and same thing if I wanted to swap it over. Uh, all of them have the built-in tools now to do this correctly. He said it take it last time. Let's do Sam be yourself. I also interviewed him. So you see, once again, the audio is not coming. It's set to here. But if I hit the volume here, and I'll change the output to the internal. With this keyboard, or any keyboard, you could adjust the volume. Certainly with Chrome, since this is a Chrome keyboard, the play and pause works fine. Uh, and then same thing, right? You can adjust the sizes however you would like. You can have multiple tabs, of course. So you might be able to have three screens in here. And I gotta say the display actually looks a lot better with the Chromebook than it did with my Windows laptop. That may just be a settings thing, but it looks pretty good really. Uh, you know, so like I said, we are working with limited space here, which is why I chose this size. You can see now she has room. She's a teacher, so she'll have stuff, you know, over here she'll probably have books that she's working on or whatnot. And that will allow the space to be maximized with this smaller screen. You know, on my desk, I have a 35 inch monitor, which I'm a big fan of. Now we didn't have that much room here. So we use this 25 inch. Potentially I could go up to 29 inch here. I definitely don't think I could fit 35 inch here, but the 29 inch is a possibility. So we're gonna let her try this out. If she doesn't like it, then we'll upgrade it to the 29 inch. But from what I've seen so far, uh, I like it, so. All right, that's about all I got. Thanks for checking me out.